Five things that we are all guilty of from time to time that are making us look trashy. And what do I mean by trashy? I mean not sophisticated, not classy. The point isn't to hurt feelings, but rather to bring up the conversation once again of a little more old world charm and grace. Seriously, something we've lost in our society in America at least. And in this era of just vast political correctness, I feel more inspired than ever to make this video, so thank you. But before we begin, my name is Michaela Marie and this is Mason de Chatillon, a channel where we discuss returning to femininity and elegance. This video is not just for the ladies though, so if you are a gentleman watching these topics, these subjects, these um, points, they can apply to you too, so don't click off, okay? Number one, walking around eating and drinking things in public. Walking around with your hydro flask or your energy drink can or your bag of chips or what have you. Walking around in public with these things is not, it's not classy. What you'll notice is that people in high society will not be caught doing these things. There's a few circumstances like if you are at the county fair or you are at a movie theater where that's what you do. You walk around and you eat and enjoy. That's a space for that. Even driving to work and shoving your breakfast in your face, people can see you through the window and it just looks like you don't manage your time very well. But if your goal is to look more respectable or elegant, you have to take those extra steps to do things properly. The second one, this is shocking that I even have to say this, but bashing people online. What I mean is if you have a baby daddy, right? Okay. And you're going to air out your dirty laundry with this person online? No, no. It's not even just that you look trashy. You look below trashy. There are no words for this, okay? Because honestly, it takes two to tango. People know this. Nobody looks at you and thinks that you're innocent in this. And even if they did, there is absolutely no logic behind airing out your dirty laundry to strangers on the internet. Or talking about how your boyfriend is in prison or I can't, I can't even really think of more. Um, but we all know that one girl that does this, it looks so trashy. If you even want to look like you have a bit of class, take all of your time and effort and spend it on scrutinizing yourself. Please do that or watch this video. Number three, being on your phone while you're driving. We all can see it. We shouldn't be looking over at each other, but it happens. But we can all see it when you're driving and you're texting or you're at the stoplight and you're playing on your phone. I feel like these days, people don't even really try to hide it anymore. But not only does it put other people in actual literal danger when you are playing on your phone, what it looks like is that you are a zombie with an addiction that you have zero control over. It is not classy. It looks extremely trashy. Definitely need to stop doing that. And number four, being that loud, attention-seeking person in public with your group of friends, wherever. I've gone over this a couple times in other videos, but you have to understand, you might think that you are so cute and funny with your group of friends, and you know what? You probably are, but nobody else thinks that. All of these things that you can avoid if you just class it up a little and honestly lower your voice. Lower your voice. Number five, smoking and vaping. First of all, we all know this is not 1940s. We all know that smoking is bad for you. We also have recently discovered that vaping has more quick harm than it does on your lungs. So when people are looking at you when you are smoking and vaping in public, they can see that you not only have an addiction because you're wearing that on your sleeve, they see that you are not caring for your health. Okay, we all know it's bad. Nobody thinks it's good. Nobody thinks it's cute. This is not a French film, okay? It's extremely rude for the people around you. Honestly, one thing about manners is the best way to look at it is to make other people more comfortable. If you want to look at it in a less selfish light, having good manners is literally being considerate to the people around you. The fact that you can't even keep this addiction private in the small quarters of your own private home, that you have to bring it with you in public, it's trashy. Doesn't matter how beautiful, skinny, supermodel like you are, smoking is trashy. Listen, I know that these points might have pricked your feelings just a little bit, but please don't go full necromancer on me about this. <laughs> Please just try to take a moment and look at yourself and realize if I want to be more classy, if I want to be more elegant, I'll take these points. If I don't, please continue on your merry little way. 
Thank you all for watching today. I appreciate all of the new subscribers I've gotten. I love you all and I will see you in the next video.